Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if anyone hears my name and do not believe in me, will not enter into the paradise. Now make your choice. You have to prove that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not the true Prophet. This is, we owe to you, or you owe to yourself this knowledge that you have to sift that really Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a prophet or not, or imposter, inverted commas, according to the Western standards. I quoted already the ayah, whereas if you see the other biographies of prophets in the Bible, minor or major, or if we take Quran, you will never be able to find that other prophets were sent to the whole of the mankind. Ya qawmana, O my people, whenever the other prophets address to their, what you call, people, they used to say, Ya qawmana, O my nation, O my people. But when Muhammad وسلم, said and addressing, Ya ayyuhannas, O mankind, through Archangel Gabriel, and Allah is revealing to Prophet Muhammad, say, O mankind, Ya ayyuhan nas, never address Ya qawmana, O my people, because Quran is the final testament. Whereas the other books were not, they were sent only to the particular people and the particular time, and that's all. It was the fittest message to that nation, to the particular time and era. But Quran speaks totally differently. Quran addresses to the whole of the mankind that this book, oh people come, take the challenge of this book. If you say think that this book is not from God, there would have been so many discrepancies, double statements, contradictions. You would surely find in it, Allah says open to everyone, come, take this book, have a litmus test, make a test, check the level and you will see your heart will testify that this is Al-Haqq. And we find this verse in the Quran. Allah says in Surah Fusilat that we will surely show our signs in the horizon in front of you and within your own selves and your heart will testify that this is Al-Haqq, that this is the book which is true. You see, which book uh, makes challenges? I'm asking, does Bible make challenges? Does Gita or whatever the other books of Hindus or whatsoever lumped up any so-called holy books, do they make any challenges? Quran is the standing miracle, not the miracle in the books, which is the old times, ancient tales, etc. Quran is here, come, accept the challenge. The biggest miracle of Quran is that it has been memorized in the people's heart. Everyone, little child can rattle it off. Maybe he doesn't understand. But the point is, memorization. You eradicate whole of the parchment of the Quran. You cannot eradicate from the hearts of the people. Prophet Sallallahu says, I'm leaving the book with you, the book which cannot be eradicated through water. And Quran says itself, Allah says, that we have kept this book in the, into the hearts of people, Sadur. Can't you see this is the standing miracle? And then Quran gives the test and he places Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 21, 22. Then Surah the Yunus chapter 10, verse number 34 to 38. And then Surah Al-Hud, the next chapter after chapter 11, verse number 13. Then Surah Al-Isra chapter 18. Onwards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep giving keeps giving the challenges after challenges, but he stops at Surat Al-Baqarah. He says that you can never produce or you'll never be able to produce something like of Quran. Do it, you can't. If you cannot produce anything like of the Quran, then what is the answer? Allah gives the answer that وَإِن لَمْ تَفَعَلُوا وَلَمْ تَفَعَلُوا فَاتَّقُوا النَّارَ الَّتِي وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ عِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ 
Allah says that do it, create something, replicate it. If you are unable to do it, then ready, be ready for the hellfire whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. Challenge is there, either accept Quran or then produce something like of it. Either way, you have to do something. You have to let the camel to sit either one of the sides. You cannot just let it happen, keep standing, that's all. Either go to left or go to right. But if you want to be a middle monkey, there is no salvation for you. This is but pure message from Quran. If you hear the name of Prophet Muhammad you have to believe in him.